just waiting for the last of the cars to line up. It's saying short one into turn one, but it really can throw a spanner in the works because it's so tight. If you don't leave enough space, you can find yourself plummeting to the back. But all 18 cars now are just about just teasing the engines like they wait for the five red lights and the engines now just begin to build up their revs and they're just waiting for them to go out and they're out now and there's round six is underway it looks like it's a good start from Dragio and uh, Wojtek looks like he's fighting so desperately for space but Krav has got an absolute blinding start he's gone into lead in turn one Dragio's gone wide onto the grass trying to fight a little bit too hard he's going to come back oh, on no. and he's hit Wojtek and spun he's right at the back and he's spun all the way around Wojtek's going to drop just behind Steel and uh, now Simon Palmer and uh, Steel was going is it a uh, safe to no it's not a safe car it's just oh there's a Mercedes and Mercedes of JSP has gone flying into the wall back across the track he's taken out of some front wing of uh, Synchro Newsly, I think it was. Luke Bailey's got involved as well. And uh, there we are. <laughs> there is a safety guy. That was absolute chaos there. And who's just saying there, Charlie? Drejo with a great chance to try and recoup some of those points. Perhaps just a little bit hot in the brakes. Went on the grass. Just tapped uh, the back of uh, the Mercedes. Uh, Wojtek it was. And just spun around. And he's now finding himself in 17th. And uh, Gareth now backing up the pack the best he can. Will he leave it as late as he possibly dares? Just like in real F1, Verstappen leaving it almost right up to the start finish line. He doesn't want to give Simon Palmer a toe at all into turn one. He wants to give himself the best chance of leading as he now chooses his moment to bolt. And he's going to come around the start finish line and he's looking like he's already got himself a little bit of cushion. He's caught out Simon Palmer just a little bit, but the one man he hasn't caught out is JSP. He's looking down the inside of Wojtek, just thinks better of it as uh, Wojtek goes a little bit wide. Maybe just saw the Mercedes in his mirrors and just made a little mistake, but now Colin's got a nice exit as well. So it's looking really nice as Craig. Looks like he's picked up a position on the Williams already and uh, or Steven is going to try and want to defend his position as he can because he's uh, got medium runners behind him and he wants to try and keep up with these soft runners the best he can but it's a very nice restart so far and uh, Gareth is really struggling to shake the Alfa Romeo off his rear wing and uh, coming now flying across the start finish line two attempts to the Alfa Romeo looking very slippery he's very slipping a straight line in Germany is it very slipping a straight line in Brazil he's going to look to the outside line uh, it's not going to get it done around there of course DRS is now enabled so he should have it on the exit of the centre rest and Gareth's gone a little bit deep there and it's now right on the back of the Williams driver is Simon Mr. Pete. He's now going to come around the outside of DOS with a good exit, and it looks like he's already got the move done. Gap's going to come back under on the brakes, makes as late as he dares. And Mr. P is going to try and come around the outside the best he can. And Simon is still side by side, and now going to be rushing up to turn six at the top of the hill. Simon has that inside line. Is Gaff going to try and come back underneath him? He thinks just tries to get his front wing there, thinks better of it. But uh, that was really nice racing for Simon. Just got a better exit out of, out of uh, the center S. And it looks like the Ferrari has got past him and up into fourth place. So a really nice move there from, from the Ferrari drivers. Gareth weaving lift this way and that, trying to get, just try and get in the, minute, in the mirrors of Simon Palmer. So it's like, might have uh, got a collision at the back there. I think uh, Tennis lost it in turn three, just sort of power Oh, I saw it around. as uh, Gareth yeah. comes straight back down the inside of turn six of the Simon. He got a lovely, lovely launch out of turn four and five. And up there here, we got down the inside and pulls off a fantastic move. I'm sure Simon Palmer was not expecting that one all, all too much. And uh, uh, now it'll be really interesting. We'll do their swap positions again. It seems to be a real tussle between these top two. Voice hate not being dropped at all. I'm sure he's almost licking his lips at these two fighting. And uh, Simon now going to look around the outside. He's late on the brakes. Gareth defends it, it goes a little bit wide onto the grass oh. even and now Simon is going to try and hang it around the outside, he's now going to have the inside line for turn three but Gareth is still just by ahead and Wojtek, as we we're saying, licking his lips at these two tussling he's now going to have a look and they're almost going three wide into turn four, it's going to be brave, who thinks better of it? It's going to be Wojtek but Simon's going to send it down the inside and Gareth's going to try and hang it around the outside and go side by side around turn five and going to be up the hill side by side again, it looks like it might just bang wheels a little bit but Gareth's got the inside into turn six, what can Simon Palmer do, he's going to try and hang it around the outside it just, just about cuts in front of the Williams drivers. Now Gareth now Ooh. losing the rear and he's into the ball and he's broken his front wing. And that seemed like that ah. was just always going to happen. But it's such an unfortunate error in this virtual safety car. But that was so close racing. 11.7, so a new pass yeah. lap of the race. And uh, he certainly is making those lap times count, no soft tyres. He knows he's got to try and create a grab as uh, Colin there just can pick it up a three second time penalty, which is not what he wants, but he's got a, he has at least got an excellent run out of the centre S for it. As uh, Wojtek perhaps losing just a little bit of momentum, he's going to have a look down the inside of turn four, he's going to mount the kerb. Uh, has going to run a little bit wider to lead uh, to relieve him space. So to come around turn five and six to get uh, turn five to go, come up the hill to turn six to four. He's got it done. He's got it into into the lead. So uh, after qualifying into uh, P7, I think it was uh, Colin started. He finds himself leading the race. Of course, he's still got that pit stop to make. But uh, 
His race pace has been fantastic tonight. It looks like uh, Mount's gone in the wall exit at turn five. Uh, Tracio is just okay. really pushing to try and get past Jeffrey and, and uh, O'Steven. And just in the hairpin in sector two, he just slid his way into it, slid his way through it, and slid his way out of it. And yeah, he's decided to bail. He's had enough of those soft tyres now. So it was looking like they were getting a bit uh, ropey for him. And here comes Craig and Brennan side by side through the center S, and it's Craig who does finally get past. Brennan's shocking just a little bit. It looks like they're soft tyres, maybe just degradating a little bit more than Craig. And Renault has pulled off a really nice move there. Craig went side by side for the first two corners, but it was Craig who had the, the better line out of the center S. And it's now Luke Bailey all over the back, and it looks like it's surely been easy to pass. He might come into the pits anyway. No, he's going to stay out. He's got DOS, he's got a little bit of a slipstream, and going to be side by side coming to turn one. Looks like Nitro, as uh, Brennan comes into the pit lane, looks like Nitro Grass might be. Easy meet. Is he going to try and hang it around the outside? No, he thinks better of it and ducks out. But uh, there we are, a new fast lap of the race by Colin. He's now, what does this bud do? He's kept, he's kept Simon Palmer behind him the best he can. He's kept Craig up behind him for a number of laps as well. He's done everything he possibly can for his teammate and he's still going on. He's playing an absolutely team supporting role. It's, uh, sadly, he's going to be powerless to stop the McLaren going around the outside of him into turn one. He's going to try and defend it on the brakes as best he can. It just dang wheels just a little bit, just well to keep hold of it. It's, it's a really strong defence and of course uh, Dreja now picks up three second time penalty but uh, he's playing the team game here Charlie but he's doing an absolutely mighty job he's got to be careful though from uh, Luke Bailey but I mean this is a, it's a teammate I don't think you could really ask much more from him could you? He's sacrificing his own race effectively out of the absolute blue Ferrari have had such a difficult start to the season none of us saw us coming saw, saw this coming so Spud finally comes into the pit which uh, that's the now uh, released ratio but he's got to look behind it so Stephen now sends it down the inside on those fan new set of soft tyres he's going to try and hug the inside of turn one he's now going to try and hang it around the outside of turn two he has to go off the track a lovely shot from the, for the helicopter there cuts a little bit of the track of turn three backs out of it and uh, maybe a bit of a sportsmanship move there as he's now going to be careful behind because uh, Jeffrey on those new set of soft is trying to take the pair of them into turn four and uh, wow well, he's pulled off he's pulled both of them off and now Dreggio leaves the space and oh a little bit of a wheel bang between him and the Williams as Dreggio then the wheel bang oh. again and if somehow not oh it's now the Williams of oh, Stephen now goes off wide but I mean for a moment I thought that was going to be a repeat of what we have between oh and there's oh, no. oh Stephen is in the wall safety car Near enough to see what Colin's going to be able to do He's uh, going to be looking around the outside of that McLaren driver going to go wheel to wheel. Really nice, really fine racing. And Bernard's going to have to think and get back out of it as uh, Nitro Gas picks up another three seconds, but he's going to come back underneath him. He's going to get a DRS zone on the, on the Ferrari. He's going to look uh, down the inside. Is, is Colin going to fight it? He leaves the door open. Uh, has the McLaren got his grip? And it's uh, just bang wheels. And Bernard's now goes into the wall. Um, for exceeding track limits, just going a little bit wide there and exit turn four. And it just seems also, as you're saying there, all this chaos has meant that Gareth has now slipped up all the way into P9. So he's going to get a point or two for his efforts tonight. It's assuming he hasn't got any uh, any more penalties. I'm sure there's plenty of guys ahead of him who's got penalties. But uh, one thing that has cannot be understated is what a great job Craig has done. He's come battled his way through, but he's got has got a free second time penalty. So Luke has now now crossed the line with uh, with the race win. Simon Palmer's going to come home in P3. Oh.